All right, guys, Ghetto Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm pretty excited about what we're getting ready to do here. This is, uh, of course, a new AR style build project. And this is the uh, going to be a 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, the reason it's going to be a 6.5 Creedmoor is because 308 is so antiquated and old. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm going to catch hell about that one. But in any case, I thought we'd have a good time with this one. Uh, first of all, let's talk about... Uh, some of the components on here. This is not all of them. We're going to kind of go through these things uh, step by step. But the idea is that I want to do the project as a whole. It has taken me forever to put the parts together for this thing. And with the help of a couple companies and with some uh, purchasing power that I have, well, we were able to get this started. All right, so this is a, uh, a 65 Creedmoor build project. Uh, and it is being sponsored by Live Free Armory, which you guys might have remembered. I did this review on this beautiful slide, and uh, I tell you what, this thing works like a champ. And we just did the video on the uh, Wilson Combat uh, WCP320, and I don't know what the... <laughs> it's actually uploading right now, and somebody used up all my data. So, unfortunately, we got slow data. All right, so let's talk about this. We've got the Live Free Armory matching uh, receiver set. And uh, guys, this is a really cool deal. I was able to go down and visit with uh, those guys, Kobe and Chris, and saw exactly what's involved in how they make these things. And now here's the part that I absolutely love. Those guys, um, they treat their employees like family. And I've actually had one of the guys reach out to me and uh, he told me I needed to get the BDX 3000 from uh, SIG. And Hold on. So anyway, we were talking about, my, my wife called me. So <laughs> we were talking about the uh, SIG Kilo BDX 3000, 3000 BDX, and he was right. He ended up getting a set of those and uh, they were very useful. So anyway, let's talk about this. We have the Live Free Armory uh, upper and lower receiver set. And I just wanted to take a quick look at this thing and just to show you some of the details. Now this has been a Cerakoted. This is a blim set. Uh, a lot of these scratches are from me just hauling this thing around and uh, don't pay attention to that. But what I would like to show you is this. Guys, look how close those two pieces match. And the nice thing is, is when you do have the pin set in here, there these upper and lower receiver does not move. It's impeccable. Uh, I would have started this video series a long time ago, but as you know, parts and pieces are hard to come by. I've actually had the upper receiver set uh, on order from Big Daddy Unlimited for damn near a month and has finally been delivered to my house. Uh, the cool part about it, I also got the uh, lower parts kit from Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, and this is patterned after the DPMS model. So one of the cool things I do want to tell you is that this is a 15-inch uh, handguard. And I think we're going to try to go with at least an 18- or 20-inch barrel on this. This thing is going to be really cool. The barrel is going to be coming from a company called Hitman Arms or Hitman Industries down in Florida. Uh, these two companies do a lot of work together. But uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. This is a handguard. It's made out of aircraft grade aluminum. You get the pick rail on the top of it, uh, M locks on the side and on the bottom. Now we've got a bipod. It's coming from uh, Fab Defense. It's their new bipod. Let's see, the total weight on this thing is 15.9 ounces. Not bad. The, um, well, I don't know if I can get it out. The barrel nut is a solid piece of steel that is two inches in length. I do like that. Uh, upper and lower receiver set stripped, one pound, 8.1 ounces. Okay, so let's go ahead and just give you a real quick run around and take a look at that thing. Oh yeah. I do like the fact that it does have a forward assist. I will try never to have another firearm that does not have a forward assist because with the six arc, and we're not done with the six arc, uh, I am running into issues with uh, the cartridges. The cases are not going fully into battery, which makes it hard for me. Uh, I will tell you this right now, you, these, they have them in stock uh, down there. Um, LiveFreeArmory.com. Let me see, where's my thing at? Yeah, so you can get the upper and lower receiver set, a handguard right here, 
and and a lower parts kit after the DPMS pattern, which includes an A2 grip trigger system uh, for three hundred and sixty eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Now that doesn't include shipping or tax, but yeah, uh, and the shipping they're gonna they ship within five days or something like that. It usually takes five to seven business days for shipping. But look at this thing, man. Look at the magwell in there. This is, thing is absolutely awesome, and I can't wait. I got the uh, the D60 or the D50, uh, 50 round mag from Magpul to, to have with this thing. Because the the goal for this thing, this particular setup, is to be completely like a defensive um, firearm. We're gonna put it on a bipod uh, with a bag and a 50 round magazine, and there you go. So anyway, you guys check that out. Now, one of the other items that we're going to be doing, uh, I will tell you this. This bolt carrier um, is actually uh, sent to the channel by CaliKey. Now, the cool thing about it is that the guys over there at Cryptic uh, Coatings, that uh, they do uh, bolt carrier groups, amazing bolt carrier groups. Uh, Gary Huffman let me use or have this uh, gas key. And I was able to go ahead and install it with the proper gasket material that you put in there. And then uh, the Cali Key guy sent this out. This is one of the spare ones that we were using during testing. Otherwise, I pretty much would not be able to afford to use one of these things. Uh, one of the guys asked me, and this is kind of a unique thing, about the uh, the differences between maybe a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 308. Now, a 6.5 Creedmoor, I can tell you this, that in my JP Bolt, for the 6.5 Creedmoor, the firing pin hole as well as the firing pin are just a little bit thinner. And the reason for that is because the 6.5 Creedmoor round is, is a high pressure round. And uh, sometimes with uh, a larger firing pin, you'll end up with some uh, fire um, primers that uh, are high pressure or the primers will come out. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. The only thing I've got to do is I'm going to get a staking tool to go ahead and stake these. So that is actually on the way. Now, uh, with the guys over there uh, at Ultradyne sent this out. This is their new LR for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Looking forward to mounting this on there. I will tell you this, that uh, I love the Ultradyne products. And with the Creedzilla, we already have. I'm using the Apollo S. That thing, the recoil on there is so amazing. It's not even funny. Okay, regular charging handle. I'm not really worried about a charging handle on this thing, but we're going to top it off. And this, I'm going to do an individual review on this guy right here. This is Primary Arms' uh, new uh, GLX scope mount or rings. And I will tell you what, I love these things. This is a 20 MOA built in. I'm really excited about that. I probably will never uh, buy another scope mount that's not 20 MOA. Uh, simply because I'm using a lot of these guys right here. This is the GLX. Now this particular one comes with the Raptor M2 and uh, actually no we're not using this one. We're going to use the Apollo. One with the Apollo <laughs> deal in it. I had this because I was going to mount this on here and then maybe use it on my DMR rifle. But no, the uh, scope that we're going to be using is going to be the Apollo uh, we just got that in, and I want to show or demonstrate to you guys, once this thing's fully operational, how we can run uh, engaged steel from 100 to 1,000 yards uh, without having to make any adjustments. So anyway, that's it. This is the uh, new 6.5 Creedmoor build series. That's going to go up on top of there like that. And uh, I'm really excited about it. We'll probably paint it, use some uh, digital. I've got the uh, paint stencils from primary arms and we're going to figure out a really cool color scheme for this thing i'm not sure how we're going to do it but we're going to go through the accurizing we're we'll go for setting the barrel when we get it in from uh, hitman industries uh we'll go ahead and put a decent i think i've got slated for this guy a uh, geisley uh s s a e uh probably won't use the uh oem or uh, factory trigger out of this thing so I want to be able to engage, I want to be able to be accurate, and I want to be able to be uh, effective you, uh, engaging those targets all the way out to 1,000 yards, if not further. So anyway, guys, I'm real excited about this. Uh, thanks to Live Free Armory for sending all this stuff out to the channel. I'm really excited about it. 
and uh, Cali Key, thanks for uh, letting me use some parts and pieces from the previous build. And we'll go ahead, we'll test out the Cali Key with this thing as well, so we can show you guys the accuracy uh, and the usefulness. Because this might end up being a deer gun, uh, from what I understand. Uh, there's some deer up here in Pennsylvania. They're committing suicide all over the place, from what I can see. So with that being said, guys, if you like the video, I can't wait to continue this series. Uh, again, one of the things we'll do is we'll do a real close-up uh, deal on this guy right here, as well as this. And then each manufacturer and each part and piece will get its own review. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Good old boy, 32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.